Hi, um, we are today interviewing the crowd. Surrogate. Surrogate, okay. Um, tell us a little bit about your process now. You are officially what? Oh, uh, pregnant until proven otherwise. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, do you just get to have this name when you become a surrogate? Or what does that mean? It means I'm at the, the point of our process where um, I've had an embryo transfer and we are waiting the appropriate time to have a, a positive pregnancy. Okay, so Pupo, um, when you put an embryo, is this your egg or, or what? No, uh, it's a gestational um, surrogacy. surrogacy. So it is no relation to me, it is a donated egg and um, my IP's sperm that created the embryo. So um, they make an embryo, it's a foreign object, um, and then they put it inside you? Yes. And then did you have, how did you get your body ready? Uh, a lot of preparation, a lot of meds, um, a lot of needles uh, and such. Um, These are, e noodle, noodles, <laughs> needles are easy, right? I mean, is it, no. how's it been for you? No, I am terrified of needles. Um, I also, I'm a single mother, so that means I have to give myself the needles. Which is not an easy process. I thought I'd get used to it, I haven't, but that stage is nearly over. So thank goodness. Uh, one of the best things I remember from you is that your quote saying, um, I love to help someone grow a family, but not at the inconvenience of myself. That sounds very bizarre. But what does that mean for you? Um, uh, again, I'm a single mom, I'm a very busy mom. So I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to do this um, a few years back but I don't want it to take away from my life. And I know that's easier said than done, but so far it's been a pretty smooth process. I'm still living every day today, becoming pregnant, um, and it hasn't taken away from my children, my work, anything like that. So what are the things that you look for um, in an intended parent when you're choosing them to, to help? Um, I. I am very gracious that mine are very um, easy going, very relaxed, super, super relaxed, um, and everything's kind of my discretion, what I choose to do, what I want to do, what I'm comfortable with. In your own terms, you know, Yeah, right? absolutely. Okay. So do you talk to them a little bit, or do you... Yeah, we text back and forth once in a while, they're always checking up on me, so... Okay. Cool. Okay, so you're poopo now. Um, in order to get people, you went to the embryo transfer. Who went with you? And um... well, the IPs did, so two IPs. And then you get to pick a companion. I chose Nathan because he's very supportive, um, and he made it fun. <laughs> it was a really awkward thing, and Nathan was there. It, it was really so. It's the very first time I've ever been on an embryo transfer with a surrogate and her intended parents. I wanted to make sure it went inside you. <laughs> Okay, so how do we ensure that it will it will work? Just can you enlighten the audience? Do you have a picture to show us? Yes. So apparently McDonald's French fries are what get you pregnant. So I had to eat those after my transfer. Nathan so graciously fed me, and I and I fed him. And your intended parents also fed each other. Yes. Fed you as well. Yes. Yeah. So did you just eat one or? Oh no, I ate the whole thing. Like nice. very fast. And after I ate the whole thing, we went for lunch after that too. And we ate before that. So. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of food did do they do they feed you that with their own culture? Uh, well, they took me for dim sum after, um, amongst many many other uh, Chinese traditional food that I've never had before. It was an amazing experience. To make it clear, I am not the entire. No, no, it was. Like <laughs> <laughs> and they gave you all sorts of things like chicken feet too, right? Yeah, they taught, and I don't know how to use chopsticks, so. That was yeah, that, that is very cute. But <laughs> I don't really use chopsticks myself either. So, okay. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Um, last thing is, why did you choose to become a surrogate? Um, my kids are my life, and I had my kids very easily, too easily. Um, and I just can't imagine anyone not having a family and not being able to make a family because for me that came very easily, and my kids are my world. So. That's awesome. Well, sticky thoughts to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And um, we'll see how this goes. Take care.